out at the lucky number seven property in Nitnat, BC. We are prospecting at the camp showing and what we're doing is we found some nice high grade samples in this area here. And we're gonna actually just dig a bit of a test pit here on the side of the road and see what else we can pull out of there. So we're pulling out all the larger rocks, pieces we break off, throwing our dirt up there. We'll hammer all these rocks open after. We're just pulling a big hunk off this piece of bedrock here that's come loose. So you can see there's a ton of sulfides on this. We'll hammer this open after. It's another piece here. It's definitely bedrock. Well, we can't go too much deeper than bedrock. We can break into it a little bit, but uh, we'll check out these couple pieces here and hammer some more stuff off here and uh, see what kind of uh, samples we got. A lot of this stuff, especially where the yellow is, is uh, silicus and uh, your gray comes from the fact that there's a uh, mixture of sphalerate in with that. The very first piece I broke off the end of this, you have a band of sphalerate with some galena in there running all through here and all through the side of the sample there. Here's another piece off it. Now to show you a bit better that sample, I broke it open again, just because of the oxidation here is hard to see. And you can see a giant band. This is about five centimeters thick running through here. It looks like based on the sulfides on the bottom too, that this is probably a larger vein where this is broken off of right here but that is just a really nice sphalerite galena there's a bit of pyrite and minor calco pyrite and pyrotite i'd say i want to show you what the typical host rock looks like in this area this is a 75 meter wide zone and uh Varying amounts of mineralization, but a lot of the host rock actually contains disseminated mineral and little stringers as you can see So here's some of the the typical host rock You can see a little vein One centimeter wide cutting through that Show some of these samples here. So this is your host rock, but it's also got loads of sphalerite and pyrite in it.
nice big vein hunk here. Attached to the bottom. Another one here. Here's the last one we'll take a look at because I think we have enough for a sample or two. A lot of the smaller samples too on the ground just laying there, you hammer them open and it's uh, really, really nice inside. Just a solid hunk of mineral. So from our small, tiny roadside test pit, three quarters of a meter wide and half a meter deep down to bedrock, we have both samples here. We've taken off the bedrock and then that first big boulder that was attached to bedrock, we removed another sample. Sample number eight and sample number nine.